Platinum Jubilee year, you would think, of course, that TV shows may go a little bit easier on our gracious Majesty the Queen. We've seen these wonderful pictures of her recently out at Windsor, finally connecting and moving around again. The stories, as we've told you before here on the show, about the use of a wheelchair or mobility scooter, truly no one knows. What we can tell you is that she does have mobility issues, but as I also pointed out on the show recently, Windsor Castle has got long, 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 long corridors, and um, I don't know about her Majesty, but I wouldn't mind more myself if I had to walk the length of that place. It's never ending. But it's this particular story that's caught my eye that's really been rather distressful, not just for Her Majesty the Queen, but of course senior members of the British monarchy. And as ever, it's all down to a TV show. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of Yorkshire. Now this particular story centres upon the Crown and as I've told you before, the Crown is not historically correct at all. They basically take a plot, make it up. And what's really upset senior members of the British monarchy this time is not the outlandish storylines that they've come up with, but this particular incident featuring our gracious majesty the Queen. It all centres upon the actress playing the Queen and uh, basically she's met by a private secretary who goes through what's happening with her children. And of course this basically places Her Majesty as a person who is cold, uncaring and doesn't know what's truly going on. Now let me explain the background to that. There's an element of that that is true. But back in that particular era, the 1950s and 60s, private secretaries would brief Her Majesty the Queen on, say, Prince Charles's uh, achievements at school. You know, he went off to boarding school, the same with Princess Anne. So, of course, she wouldn't necessarily know everything as a busy working monarch, and that's what she was in that particular period. But by featuring this particular salacious scene, it makes out that the monarchy are very cold-hearted, not warm and loving at all. And we've obviously know this is totally different from the way that Prince Charles speaks about his mother so warmly, as has Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal, Princess Anne and Prince Edward. So by putting this in, this particular scene on a Platinum Jubilee year, once again shapes a rather negative narrative of a wonderful reigning monarch. And you have to ask the question, truly, just how desperate are the crown for ratings now. As we've seen, there's been a mass cull of subscribers to Netflix, as ever, allegedly, and more importantly, there are other streaming giants now that are basically scooping up those subscribers. So they have to do everything to make sure that the crown is more salacious and more, shall we say, demanding than ever before. As ever, I'd love to know what you think in the, the comments below. Let me know whether you think the crown is being ungracious towards our reigning monarch of 70 years. Neil Sean, Yorkshire, England.